Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Friday, September the 28th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, it's been uh, quite, a, quite a time here in the United States uh, with the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh or the hearings uh, that took place in the Senate yesterday. And of course, this morning, uh, the vote came out of committee 11 to 10 to move on to the Senate, uh, the Senate floor. Now, with respect to Dr. Ford, I'm, you know, I, I don't really have anything against her, but I just don't think she makes a very persuasive case that it was Brett Kavanaugh. Obviously, something happened to her. She had an experience. I don't doubt that one bit, but it doesn't seem to me that she said anything that connects Brett Kavanaugh to whatever bad experience she had. Uh, her evidence is has a lot of holes in it. She doesn't remember this. She doesn't remember that. So I, I again, nice lady, but I just don't see that uh, her case is very strong. With respect to Judge Kavanaugh, I thought he made an excellent presentation, very passionate presentation. And I think for me, uh, the best case that he made is about th this politics of destruction. I mean, when you when you turn your political system into nothing but a vehicle to destroy your opponents, people can disagree, that's fine. But when all you do is destroy your opponents and you know if you're a man, you're absolutely found to be guilty, uh, I, I just think it's a very dangerous situation that for the country and for the Senate, I mean, uh, the Senate needs to, after this uh, nomination and confirmation, I think the Senate is gonna have to figure out how to do this in the future because I don't think the Senate can take too many more confirmation hearings like the ones that we just had. I mean, it just got not just political, it got sick political. It was really hard to watch. I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how these senators believe that they improved the image of the Senate with the performance that we just watched. Now, this morning, uh, they took a vote 11 to 10 to move uh, the, to move it to the floor of the Senate. That is, move the, the nomination to the floor of the Senate. Uh, Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona made a motion there at the end. I'm not sure if it was an amendment or just a wish on his part. It was not an amendment. That, that's clearly not, uh, not what he was saying. But I think he would like to have maybe more of a bipartisan finish to all of this. Uh, you know, that, I, it may, that may be heartfelt. I'm not gonna question his, uh, his integrity, but it does complicate things a little bit uh, because how much longer is this gonna go on and exactly what information are we going to learn that we don't know already? Uh, that's, I think, uh, the question I have. So I'm willing to listen to Senator Flake and let's see what Senator McConnell, majority leader, has to say. But at some point, this has to end. You know, you just cannot go on like this, you know, investigating, investigating. At some point, you know, you have to vote yes or no and, uh, and move on. And I think we're very close. We're very close to that point. I'm still very confident that uh, Brett Kavanaugh will be in the Supreme Court uh, this month or maybe early next month. And uh, that uh, all of this, uh, we can look back at it. We're not very proud of what we watched. And as I said before, I think the U.S. Senate has to sit down. Democrats and Republicans have to sit down and figure out a way uh, to prevent this kind of circus from happening again. Because, you know, you cannot do this to people. What was done to Brett Kavanaugh, the destruction of his name and reputation for no reason at all. You cannot do that. You cannot do that without not just hurting Judge Kavanaugh, but hurting the country. And when you hurt the country, nobody wins. Let's remember that. When you hurt the country, nobody wins. And what we saw uh, these last few weeks is the country is hurting. So everybody loses when we hurt uh, the country. Well, thank you for watching. We have all of these videos over on YouTube. We have them on Twitter. We have them on my blog. And if September 28th is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.